I come from a family who's been involved in raising funds for hospices and hospitals around the country. This new initiative is very important for Norfolk as a county. It combines the resources and the initiative from the public sector and the private sector together. It means that we can push the boundaries, include far more people. I also feel that this is something that can make a difference to every single family in this county. One of the wonderful things about hospices is the way in which families and loved ones are included in the care of the patients. They share the care and nurses and other professionals are wonderful at helping those families accept the possible death of a patient. The way we care for those who've got life-threatening illnesses or are dying um, reveals how we care truly for the living. And one of the great qualities of hospices is the lightness, the welcome, the spirit of them. A wide variety of people come to Priscilla Bacon Lodge for care. What they have in common is that they have an advanced progressive disease that is incurable. Physical symptoms are a huge problem and we need to get on top of those for people. But emotional ones too, a fear of the unknown, fear of dying, how they would like their death to be. But it's also about living now and how they live with dying and how they can enjoy their life now. Death is normal and it's inevitable, it therefore affects every single one of us. We are unlike other counties, we don't have a significant amount of independent funding coming to sit alongside our NHS funding. The last year that we've got figures for, over 10,500 people died in Norfolk and Waverley and just over 7,000 of those are predicted to have needed some form of palliative care and support. We know we're absolutely not meeting that kind of level of need. We know from the statistics nationally that we have many less inpatient beds available in specialist palliative care than most places in the country should have. We've got less specialist consultants and we have less community palliative care nurses than we should have. So our aspiration is to make sure that we've got the right kind of resources to have independent funding to sit alongside the NHS funding, establishing for us the ability to have a new building, to have extended services, meet the needs of many, many more people. But that inevitability of death for all of us will be the kind of ending that they and their families really want to experience. We never ever talked about end of life with Michael because you couldn't, because he was, I'm not, I'm going to beat this, I'm, I'm not going to die. He had a horrible cancer, head and neck cancer, and he had no tongue, no teeth, and his jaw had dropped. So we took him to Priscilla Bacon Lodge and um, he had a look round and he said, he thought he would like to go in for respite. We stayed there for that whole week. We had our meals there and we were looked after absolutely wonderfully well. Every person in Priscilla Bacon Lodge, whether they're patient, relative, st staff, volunteer, are all treated with dignity. And that, I think, is, is the most important thing for somebody who's suffering. It's a very, very lonely thing watching somebody die with cancer because you want to make it right and you can't. There isn't a magic wand that will take everything away, the pain away and the, and the illness away. They, there isn't one. But I never thought I was going to have to have my son there. But that was the best place in the world. Sorry. He was a wonderful son, and I'm just glad that he got the treatment that he needed from somewhere. We thought that Graham had got five years, um, but unfortunately um, the diagnosis was that he'd only got months. It then went down to days. Graham needed hospice care, and obviously we arrived at the hospital knowing that we would leave but Graham wouldn't. I didn't want to leave, I didn't know how much longer I'd got with Graham. Family were encouraged to be there every step of the way with me. They made sure that Graham had everything he needed but not only that, they made sure that we did. They gave us a home within their building 
and that was just so important. I mean, for two nights, there was, the entire family were there. Um, they just kept bringing blankets, bringing pillows, because we were actually, as a family, given a whole week to be with Graham, to do what we wanted, to say what we wanted. A really traumatic end to a life, but I couldn't have wished to have been anywhere else and to be able to be the close family that we are. All they did for us in that week I can never repay them. <laughs>